it's very important that you archive your work as a template file at the end of each work session. Now I'm in site view currently and you'll notice that under the file menu there's an option to export as template entire site or selected pages almost invariably especially for a small website such as we're doing you'll choose the entire site option I'm going to click on that and notice that by default NetObjects wants to save in a uh, predetermined folder called templates we actually don't want to store our template file in that location on the C drive we want to store it we want to redirect it to our thumb drive now Note that the default file name is the same as the name of your NetObjects Fusion project. And note also that the Save As Type is a NetObjects Fusion template file. It's a zip file if you're familiar with compressed zip files. Um, well, it's not really a conventional zip file, but we'll leave it at that. Um, what this will do is it will store both the contents of your assets folder and your node file in a single compressed file that then that can then be uh, expanded and reconstituted on another hard drive such as your computer at home all right well that said again we're on our, our thumb drive um, we want um, to save this uh, file with the same name as the project folder I'm going to click Save and uh, save unused files into the template certainly because there's things we haven't linked into our website yet we'll click Yes template has been saved and let's now just minimize NetObjects Fusion for a second and see what happened I'm going to go navigate over to my thumb drive notice that there is now a WinZip file on my thumb drive with the same name as my project folder and again it says it's a, a WinZip file but it's not a conventional WinZip file you can't open it with WinZip you really can only open it with NetObjects Fusion by doing a file import template anyway this is the file that uh, you would then move on to your hard drive at home or onto another computer if you wanted to reconstitute the uh, project and continue working on it. Now one of the nice things is that since we're working off of a, a, a transportable thumb drive, NetObjects Fusion projects all have to be in the root directory of the drive that you're working on. So if we had started our project on the C drive it would need to be in the uh, root of the C drive but since it's on the root of the thumb drive directory well we can open up our file and continue working on it at home anytime we wish however if you were to lose your work or need to reconstitute it anywhere this template file will serve as your backup